Let's talk about Toy Story. We're also gonna trim my hair and my bangs because it's greasy. Perfect timing for me to do this. So I can't be the only person who's realizing how much I have underappreciated that series. And I mean, it wasn't until now with all four installments that I got here. Well, I recently rewatched number four. <laughs> Waterworks, of course. I ended up doing some polls about Toy Story movies in my stories, and the results were really interesting. And I'm gonna put them up. Let me tie up my hair and I'll, I'll keep going. Side note, I've been cutting my hair this way for five years now. I don't mess with a good thing, it works for me, so just, okay. I know it looks ridiculous. Do not take this as a how-to attempt at your own risk. <gasps> Did I forget a hair tie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was born in 93. The first one came out in 95. So it was there for my toddlerhood and early childhood, but I wasn't really the target market. My brothers were. My older brother had the bed spread. It was like the Woody on one side and the Buzz on the other. I thought it was pretty cool. I enjoyed the film, but it wasn't my favorite Disney movie, right? The second one came out, 99, which changed that. I loved it so much. It was the movie that made me realize that actual actors were voice actors as well. Finally making that connection because Joan Cusack's voice is so distinguishable. I know this voice. <laughs> Anyway, fun fact about Toy Story 2 is that it held the record on Rotten Tomatoes for 100% reviews until 2018 when Paddington 2 came out. I think it's because it made us cry the least. Yes, that whole backstory about Jesse is heartbreaking. It's not at the end. You're not crying at the end of the movie. And I mean, I cry more with the others. Fast forward, I am now in high school and post-secondary was on the horizon wanting to be independent and then the third movie came out and i saw it in theaters and just it had my heart let's get to the banks so the third one got me back i could identify with andy a bit more because of just the time of my life letting go of your childhood that moment at the end, the hesitation, when she reaches for what he did, I felt that, that's that's how it feels. And then fast forward, the fourth one came out and I was a parent. It's about Woody and Woody finally getting to do things for himself, which is bittersweet because who Woody is has always been the toy that's needed. Woody's sense of worth came from his service to the child. There's tons of different ways you, you can interpret the story, the characters, that sort of thing. So like, please don't come and tell me I'm wrong um, if you interpret it differently. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion on art. A side note to that, just the sheer explosion of animation that happened. The first one was groundbreaking at the time. If you watch the fourth one, every little, little thing, and then go back and watch the first, just, I don't know, it hits me in the nostalgia feels now. Do, 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 do. What's your favorite Toy Story? If anything, take this as your sign to you watch all the Toy Stories. Watch them if you have only seen the first or the first and second. They're a good watch. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Be a nice human.